All right, what we got in was a Davies and Craig EWP and fan digital controller. Uh, it's part number 8020. Um, this came out of a 1993 Mazda RX-7 FD3S uh, with a 13B REW engine. Um, customer asked us not to laugh at them because the uh, car didn't start. They did a rookie mistake and hooked up the jumper leads backwards. So it took this out. Um, it started with an ECU problem, which we'll get in in the next video. Let's take a look at the bench. All right, so it's only got one screw in the back. I've already taken it out. It's a pretty simple little circuit board. We can see we've got some bulged caps. Uh, customer is pretty confident that happened during uh, the, the bad jump. And what we've also got is, if we can see it, is the shot key has cracked. And I don't even think we can do much as far as analyzing anything, because if I try and take some measurements here, I think we're going to... I think we're going to see shorts all over the place. If we check this shot key... Yeah, I mean, it's shorted. So we're probably not going to be able to check much else. Oh, well, that's not too bad. So we don't have a good wiring diagram on this. Um, I'd like to try and put some power into it after we try. So all I could find was um, sort of a vague chart of wiring. So I think this is ground and this is hot. But let's get these caps off and we'll get the shot key off. And then we'll take a look and see what we can get. So if you don't have a solder sucker, let's try this without it. One of the best things you could do is wet these joints with some fresh solder. Let's get our fume extractor going. We'll get a little flux on here. Let's see if we can move these without the solder sucker. So let's pre-wet these. pretty tight to the board but that's already pulled that wire pretty much out so again I'm not worried so much about the hitting the copper as I am the lead of the capacitor let that lead do its job and, and pull the heat down through the through hole through the through hole now this looks like it's sitting on a ground plane it's really taking the heat and I'm at 350 so it just loosened up so if I pull it back, you can see we've got that lead out. Let's try to get this other lead off. And go slow back and forth. Don't try and pull them. It'll, it'll rip the traces off. So that pulled us out. We've still got uh, solder in the hole, which you could, you could do a, a solder wick. And clean those off. Let's see if it'll take it through. Now this is that ground plane lead. It might take a lot of heat. It is, it's not wanting to clear that hole. So you could work that back and forth a bit. But I'm gonna break out the solder sucker. And I'm going to break out a stand. <laughs> This is kind of a cheap stand, but I like this thing. It uh, does a good job holding it up out of the way. His arms are plastic, so you're just waiting for the day that it breaks. But it gives you a nice swivel. You can work it back and forth. So we've got this one off. Let's see if we can clear those holes out. Nice. I'm not really pushing hard on it. It's the beauty of these things. See that one's gonna that one's gonna fight us a little bit. Really need to hold the heat on it a little more because it's this whole ground plane.
just gonna be stubborn. Let's work on this other one. We might throw this on the heater for a minute. This one's gonna do the same thing. You know, one of these is gonna be on the ground. So again, I'm really, I'm pushing more on the leg of the cap than the copper on the board. And I'm gonna use this hole in the end and kind of circle around the leg. Not really even pushing on the board. I'm just letting the leg of that capacitor wick the heat through the board. And this is probably the ground pad, so it's gonna be, it's gonna wanna take a lot of heat. This is typical automotive. So I'm gonna pull these off from the back again. Just to make life easier. So that pulled that one off. Still need to clear these holes. I'm gonna throw this on the heater for a minute. All right, I threw that on the heater for a minute. Let's warm it up a bit. Let's see if we can't get a better response out of this. Get a little flux on this. You can see we've still got solder in the holes. It's got a little more mass than I anticipated. See, look at that, that copper pad actually came off. It's so small, it's making contact with this side. Same here. See how weak that just pulled off of there? Well, I didn't want to let go at all, did it? See how we lost that copper pad on this side? This one's still got it. But it's really, it's making contact on this side. So we want to make sure we wick that solder up through that hole enough. Okay. Let's get this off of this stand and we'll get it onto this stand. All right, let's get this board on here so we can work with this uh, Schottky diode because it's probably gonna, not going to want to come off. I'm catching right on those edges. Okay. Let's see what we can do with this now. How good this is gonna come off for us. Are we gonna have to bring some air into it, hot air? Again, let's wet this. And there we go. Didn't even need to get the hot air into it. All right. So now let's see if we can uh, get some measurements. See if these other ICs are any good. So I think we tried this and it looked like they might be all right. I 
we still got a short across there. Let's check this. We had a short across here. See, that's looking better. How about this? Is this shorter to that? Yeah, it is shorter to that. Okay, never mind. All right, we might be good on these. All right. Let's get a new shot key on there. Okay, let's get these caps in, and maybe we'll throw some power on this thing and see what happens. Yeah, look at this silk screen. It's bigger. They originally had a bigger cap in here. We're not completely open there. Sometimes you got to work them a little bit. the size of the ground plane so it's really taking a lot more heat. So this is the one we lost the pad on. I'm just gonna leave that bump on there, give us a little extra. So what do you think? Do you think we put voltage into it? Can I get a good connection here? So we're gonna go boom, let's hit the power. And there's all our lights. And they went out.
So it's pulling about 200 milliamps. It's jumping around. So the lights come on and go off. So I think we're going to end this one for now. Um, we replaced the bad parts and we'll have to get the ECU fixed and get this installed in the car and find out if it worked or not. Like, subscribe, we'll see you next time.